my guy Marcus Bruce. What's good, Mark? What's going on, man? How you doing? I'm chilling, man. It's good to know. Got, uh, no, I just got my guys. They about to, uh, I got a bunch of guys right now. They about to start uh, warming up, getting ready. They about to do some uh, drills with IT. So some world class work for my uh, novice amateurs, and uh, I'm grateful to sitting here working. Who you got in the gym? Appreciating everything. So who you got in the gym right now? I got Isaiah Berry, my two and 165. Um, I have Tyrese Martin. Uh, he's gonna be my. He, I'm getting him down to 165 as well. Uh, don't got no fights yet. Sael Gonzalez. He's a 152. Um, and he's gonna be making his debut here at Pivot Boxing Academy January 21st. Then I also my guy just walked in. Deshaun Jones, a 178, 2 and 0 that I have as well. They all gonna be moving around, uh, learning from Atik, man. So great. Great day today. Speaking of Latif, number one light heavyweight prospect in America, yes. maybe in the world. Um, how's, how, do you, how do you like his development so far? Well, he, he's he been, since I've met him, he's been phenomenal. Um, but he's definitely starting to mature as a, as a professional, uh, sitting down on his punches more, uh, really starting to slow things down, understanding that there's more time on the clock, more time to think, and, uh, more time to set traps, etc. So he's really coming into his own and people starting to realize what I've been saying since before his pro debut, and that's that uh, he's a big puncher. Man. He's a big puncher. I felt his punches, whether it's on the body shield, whether it's on the... Uh, but it's on the mitts. You, you can feel oh, it. You gotta wear the shield, Mark. Uh, I put on the body shield. Yeah, yeah, of course. Small body shield, the big one. Mark, I you can't legit. handle him on the small shield. Yeah, yeah but, you gotta uh, be the big. I gotta use that big MMA one, that, uh, like that that juggernaut <laughs> body mm. shield to not feel anything. But um, I've been saying it since before his pro debut, and I had uh, people come up to me like, "Can he punch? Can he punch? He can definitely punch." And uh, I said that way before he did his pro debut, and now people are starting to realize it, uh, especially after his last fight. So, um, yeah, he, he's maturing very well, and I'm, uh, I'm proud of his progression. And his, his ceiling is, is uh, pretty fucking high as long as he continues doing what he's doing. He's coming off of the second round knockout against Christian Thomas, who's 11 0, nine knockouts. It's supposed to be a step up. Yeah. Kind of, I ain't going to say stepped on him. Second round knockout. Well, you're not gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. That, that, that's exactly what happened. Um, but um, just like if you watched my previous interview, speaking on that uh, on that fight, I wasn't gonna necessarily call it a step up because I wasn't. I didn't know what Christian Thomas was capable of. Um, I had just heard little things about him, but uh, I, I knew that that Atif is a, is a different. He's a, he's a different type of fighter. He's a different caliber of a fighter. And um, I, I I knew in my heart that. That, that wasn't, I didn't know it was going to end that soon, but I knew that there wasn't anything that that dude was going to bring to the table that our team wasn't going to be able to adjust to or uh, overcome. So uh, everybody thought it was a step up, but I just thought that it was just something that people saw on paper and ran with. But me personally, I didn't think it was anything too, too concerning. Do you think that this might have scared off future opposition? But he's been scaring off opposition from the beginning. Like um, he's very hard to match since the beginning of his career. He's still at the beginning of his career, but um, as he continues to go along in the game, uh, more and more opponents are getting ran through. So I guess they look through box rack or they see uh, some clips on YouTube or whatever, and it's just something that they don't want to deal with. Because if you're looking at somebody and they already have guys with, win with, with big winning records and he's just disposing them so easily and then he just came off a, a second round knockout against 11 no that's going to be discouraging for a lot of people who's uh looking to fight him or or a manager that's trying to match their fighter against him it's very discouraging so uh they're going to look for the easy way out instead of uh, and especially if managers who got a lot of money into their fighter they're not going to mess up their investment that early so uh, of course they're going to uh be discouraged to match their fighters against our team or girls. If I was on the other side, I'd probably be hesitant as well.